New comic book day haul, April 28th, 2021. It's a long time since I did a video this way in a couple of weeks. I've been doing them live, but we're back doing it like this. Um, so excited to do these videos. I've been having so much fun. Thanks everyone for keep watching. We just celebrated our 250th subs. Um, I'm very excited for that, so I thank you very much. Of course, if you like the video, hit thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ding, ding, ding. That bell for notification for future videos. And we're doing indies first. And before we do all the indies, I, I just got in uh, Comics with Bueller's uh, second official exclusive right here. Blowtorch from Second Sight Publishing. Right there, we have uh, the color version. And then we have the sketch, you know, black and white version. I think this, these these are really nice. I'm glad I got them. Thank you, Bueller. Love the exclusives. Um, yeah, so uh, can't wait for him to do more. I did. Uh, we did a whole uh, sit down with Tomorrow Cinema last night. That was fun uh, with Marvin Wynn, the writer of Blowtorch. Um, not Blow. That's Blowtorch. <laughs> the writer of uh, The Edge. Which, uh, I have the comic in here. I put it away. I should have had it ready already. But this was the comic, the edge that I got a few weeks ago, a month ago. And, uh, yeah, it was a great read. It was a fun night. Anybody who wants to check it out that night on Jamal Cinema's channel, it was a bunch of us. The PCP Army Bad Batch was in there, with along with Marvin Wynn, myself. Robbie went in there. Bueller went in there. So, check it out. It's, uh, I'll have the link down below and uh, let's keep going with the comics. Of course, we started with indies. So, uh, of course, uh, Boom Studios, my favorite publisher, indies publisher. Uh, yeah, Keanu Reeves, Matt Kent. You know, I enjoy the first one. Very action packed, Keanu Reeves type figure in there. So, you know, I'm probably going to enjoy this one too. And uh, because I got the first and second issue of this, I was able to get the free issue of the um, Something is Killing the Children. This is a reprint of number one, the first issue. It came free with the purchase of Berserker. So uh, I love it. <laughs> and uh, next up, that's it for uh, Booms. We got uh, IDW. Gotta get me some... My Little Pony and Transformer Friendship in Disguise number two. Yeah, I'm all in, man. I'm all in. Why not? A lot of silliness, a lot of Transformers, a lot of ponies, and all doing their thing. Why not? <laughs> uh, next up is uh, from Skull Comics, steak number two. I actually read the first one, I enjoyed it. You know, vampire kind of thing. At least that's what I remember from it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into that one. And uh, this next one is uh, from Aftershock, Shadow Doctors number three. I haven't read the first two. I, uh, the first one sold out almost everywhere. I went to a LCS, found the first two. So I might as well find the third one. I keep hearing it's really good. So I bought it because I keep hearing it's really good. So I sit down and read them all. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. And... Uh, Next up from AWA Upshot, these I have been reading. Erratic number five. It's Erratic number five. <laughs> it's a fun story with the kid. Uh, he only has like, what, 10 minutes to have his powers and he loses it for the day and, and not a lot of crazy things. This probably looks more like a introduction, a big origin story kind of thing. I hope they continue on with a second series or something like that because I, I am enjoying it. I hope they continue on with that story. Um, next up is uh, 
Destiny number two. This is from Black Mass Comics. You know, that's uh, Destiny New York <laughs> number two. New York's on the cover. I'm a sucker. I'm from New York, so I'm probably going to get it, you know. So I got it. So I can't wait to dig into that. And then because I, I did like the original series from the video game, from Dark Horse Comics, Cyberpunk 2077, you have my word, number one. I enjoyed the first series. I, I remember reading it all in one shot. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have to get the game one day. I heard they fix all the bugs. But I'm kind of waiting until I get a PS5. I still don't have a PS5. One day maybe. And one day I'll buy that game. Hopefully all the bugs are fixed and I can play it. Um, keeping on, keeping on. Uh, Vampirella versus Purgatory number two. Right here. You know, it's just them battling and all that. So, uh, you know, I love stuff like that. So I can't wait to dig into that. And, uh... Keeping on, keeping on from Vault Comics, Witch Blood number two. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't read the first one yet, but since I, I I haven't read it yet, I got the second one. Hopefully, you know I like to give runs a couple of issue shot. You know what I mean? If I see if I like it, so hopefully I like it and I continue on to the series. Um, now we're going to Image because there's a few of them. Department of Truth number eight. James Tynan, or Tynan, Tinian, Tynan, oh my goodness. It's going to take me a while to get used to saying his name right. James Tynan, I think I got it right. Department of Truth number eight. This was a Robbie's Pick of the Week, so uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. I like his Pick of the Week 99.9% .9 of the time, so, you know, that's a good batting average, right? <laughs> Even though it's not really a batting average, but you know what I mean. Uh... Next up, from my boy Donnie Cates, crossover number six. I already see some, uh, seen some pictures in it that I enjoy, so I can't wait to dig into that. That's an awesome series. Um, freaking awesome. I freaking love it. Donnie Cates is my boy. Love his stuff. And now, keeping on with Image, Shadecraft number two. First issue was solid, so I got this one. This one, like, reminds me of a cover of Strange Academy. Um, when, uh, I forgot who was chair there. Was it Strange Academy? I'm probably getting the wrong issue, but it was one of those issues. I don't know if it's an homage, but it, it reminds me of that. Um, so, uh, can't wait to dig into that. And of course, last for indies, but not least, Todd McFarlane goodness right here. Spawn number 317. You know I had to get it. I'm doing, me and our uh, TM Nerd is reviewing the uh, companion number one that has the first 50 issues in it every Sunday, start at 5.30. This Sunday, we're reviewing issues 11 through 15, no, yeah, 11 through 15, because we didn't do it last Sunday, so tune in for that on my Sunday show with TM Nerdy. But um, yeah, that's it for Indies. We're going to DC next. First up for DC, Robin number one, Joshua Williamson goodness. Love this flash run. Uh, this has, uh, here is a tournament. He's going to be involved in a tournament like Mortal Kombat. Kind of like came out at the right time. I guess the movie's coming out. So why not come out with a book with a tournament like that? He's going to fight a bunch of people. And uh, you know, why not? You know, he might be a kid, but. This Robin, he can handle himself, you know what I'm saying? So, can't wait to dig into that. Keep on in the Batman world. I got Batman, black and white number five. Some goodness. I've been enjoying this series, and for whatever reason, I can't <laughs> fit that in there, so I'm going to put it down right here. Um, But uh, these Batman black and whites have been very good, Um, so I can't wait to dig, in, dig into that. It has a bunch of stories in it with a bunch of artists and writers so pretty good stuff i keep hearing about this next one that we finally got a decent action comics 1030 philip kennedy's writing uh daniel sampri sampri uh the artist will probably botch his name mr botch it 
But uh, yeah, I heard uh, this Superman story is pretty good. Uh, I gotta catch up with some of my DC. I wanna catch up with that one because I keep hearing how good Superman is. Um, the Bendis one really wasn't the greatest. I try to like it. You know, everybody who's seen my videos saw that. But um, can't wait to dig into that one. And the next one, of course, is gonna be Batman Superman number 17. Some goodness right here, too. You know what I'm saying? I've enjoyed the last issue. So this one, I probably enjoy it too. I freaking know. I know it. Come on. <laughs> but uh, next one, Harley Quinn number two. I enjoyed the first one. The art's a little wacky, um, but Stephanie Phillips, her writing's pretty good. I love where they're going, the direction they're going with her. You know, she's trying to be this hero, um, but it looked like little by little, probably not gonna work out for her. But she's trying to like help Batman out and all that. So uh, trying to be part of that family. <laughs> She's also trying to get the Batman. She thinks like a Robin and, a, and, and Batgirl all got this uh, Batman pay and all that. So she even asked for that and all that. And uh, <laughs> he ended up, uh, she ended up, can I, at least, can I at least get a toaster with a bat signal? And then I think towards the end of that, I think it was the first issue of that. I could be mistaken. I don't know if that was in the Batman or in the first. I think it was the first one issue of this. Uh, at the end of the issue, after she did everything, uh, he ended up putting a, uh, toaster, the bat signal, in, in, in her apartment. So I thought that was pretty cute. Sorry for the spoilers. But, um, next up, Teen Titans Academy, number two. The, uh, very controversial. A lot of people not liking the first one. I, I didn't hate it. So I guess I, it's good that I didn't say I didn't hate it, right? I thought it was okay. Um. If this one, but it, I'm I'm looking, you know, to trim down my uh my pull a little bit. It's getting out of hand, and if this one doesn't pick up, I probably would drop it. But again, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't. Uh, the Dick Grayson in here, I hear it's not the Dick Grayson from the uh, the the night one from the other one. So I'm kind of thinking, uh, is this the same continuity? With the main Nightwing, or is that like a different cut? Because they confuse me with DC right now with the whole continuity things. You know, everything everything counts now. So, <laughs> I guess. But um, next up, I'm um, last but not least for DC, uh, Ruby, Justice League, something like that. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, but I'm a sucker. It has Batman in it. You know what I mean? I mean, Batman in it with the Justice League. So, uh, I'll give it a shot. If I like it, I'll continue. If I don't, you probably won't see it in my next video. But, that's it for DC. Let's go to Marvel. First up, for Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 25, Saladin Ahmed. Of course, great run. I think his run is great. I've been enjoying it. Of course, other people thinking, Oh my God, Clone Saga. They're afraid of the Clone Saga. But um, I think he's gonna knock out of the part. I don't, I don't think they're gonna make a, an event out of it. But I think this is a, a, a arc going on right now on Miles Morales that I, I am enjoying. So uh, let's keep on with that. Let's keep on making some good comics, Saladin. These are really good. Very underrated. I don't think a lot of people are talking about it like they should. Um, next up, The Amazing Spider-Man, Curse of the Man-Thing. You know, we got, uh, Spider-Man and, uh, the Lizard and then the Man-Thing behind. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a one-shot. So why not? Spider-Man's in it. I'm a sucker. Just like Batman. Anything Spider-Man, I usually end up getting. So, you, you know, sucker. <laughs> but... Hope it's good. Next one is Silk number two. I did enjoy the first issue, so I can't wait to dig into this. I'm a Silk fan. I really enjoy her, um, Cindy Moon and all that. And uh, very another controversial. Like some people don't like it because you know she got bit by uh, the same spider as Peter Parker, so they they don't like uh, how that was portrayed. But I think she's an awesome character. I enjoy her. First issue was awesome. Can't wait to dig into that one. And keeping on keeping on 
because Spider-Man's on the cover. Savage Avengers. I was already getting this series though. <laughs> but Savage Avengers number 20, Jerry Dugan. One of my favorite, favorite uh, titles coming out for Marvel. It might be in my top five because uh, it's been so much fun. If you don't take it too serious, you're going to really enjoy it. It's a freaking great series. And I can't wait to dig into that one. Uh, keeping on, keeping on. Uh, Beta Ray Bill, number two. So, uh, I don't know much. I, uh, confession, I still haven't read the first one. But it's freaking Beta Ray Bill. So, I hear the people who like Beta Ray Bill say they're a pretty good comic. So, can't wait to dig into that one. I'm going to have to sit down and read both of them back to back pretty soon. Probably today or tomorrow. Um... Next up, another a series that is back, and I'm glad it's back, from my girl, Kelly Thompson, Black Widow, number six, love, love, this, it's, I guess it's an ongoing now, because it was going to be a five-part series, which is freaking phenomenal, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Dylan, that's for you, <laughs> I don't know if he watches my videos, but that's Dylan right there, but, um, what was I talking about again, I, I got off track already. Oh, Black Widow. <laughs> See what happens when I fall off track? Black Widow, I guess this is part of... Maybe it's in my top five. Now I got to rethink what my top five Marvel titles are right now. Because I'm enjoying... I enjoy the first arc of this. It was so good. People enjoyed it. That they gave her an ongoing for it. Number six. Can't wait to dig into it. Kelly Thompson goodness right here. And keeping on, keeping on. Fantastic Four, number 31, Dan Slott. He's been doing it. I think he's been doing an excellent job with the Fantastic Four. Most, I mean, I, I'm enjoying almost the entire run. Like, no, nah, I'm enjoying the entire run. I take I take the almost back. His run has been pretty good. I've been enjoying it. Good stuff. Fantastic Four. Glad they're back still. It is awesome. Keeping on, keeping on. Star Wars. Darth Vader, number 11, Greg Pak, probably the better of all the Star Wars titles right now. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I, uh, like I said, I love it. Um, I'm enjoying all the Star Wars titles. I think they're all good. This one's the best out of the pack. Why not? And then to end with a few X-Men titles, what I usually like to do, Cable number 10, I think there's two more after this. Jerry Dugan, I think they stop at 12. Um, it's actually, to me, one of the better X-Men titles, too. Um, I've been enjoying it. I like Young Cable. There are some people that probably don't like Young Cable. They like the older guy, the older grumpy guy. But this guy, this show, uh, series has been really good. Sad to see it go, but I'm guessing the old man Cable is coming back. But while this was going enjoyed it um next up new mutants number 17 one of the, my least favorite x titles for what i remember was it the new mutants or was it the other one i don't know like i haven't been enjoying the last couple of issues quite as much it's one of my least favorite x titles but it's an x title and usually i get those two i'm a sucker you call me sucker um <laughs> last but not least I mean, I got a couple of more things to show. But last but not least, X-Men Legends number three. X-Men goodness right here. Um, I, I hope this is good. I, the first two have been pretty good. It's been all right. Um, but I want it to be more than all right. It should be great, right? <laughs> it's X-Men, right? But um, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to like it. Good comic. Um, and then, like, uh, they were giving these out for free. This is... Uh, Hellfire Gala, the Hellfire Trading Company official guide. It's a uh, shows you uh it's a free when you go to your LCS, see if they have these. It's free. Check it out. See if you like it. You know, free is good. You know what I mean? If you don't like it, you can pass it on to a kid or something like that. Anything like that. But um, that's it. That's it for this week's haul. I hope everybody liked it. Um. Again, to all my buddies, to everybody out there, everybody in the PCB Army, everybody, all my subs, 250 subs, 
Love it. Thank you very much. You are all worth it. Thank you. Until next time. Peace out.